Welcome to the Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke and today I'm going to be comparing this $10 scanner from Timu to this $600 scanner from Otto. Thanks for joining me. So if you saw yesterday's video, you've actually seen some of the content that will be in this video. However, I am going to do a full comparison of these two automotive scanners. Uh, working on the Passat, use the $10 scan tool from Timu to check for engine codes. Um, and then we also used uh, my brother's Autel. Uh, and again, that is something that he paid about $600 for. So. Maybe not a fair comparison because the Autel does so much more than the Timu, but we'll go ahead and I will go through that footage and show you how they compare. So let's get started. Alright, so we'll go ahead and scan the vehicle and see if we uh, pop any codes here and find out why that light was on. And it says zero codes found. Now Joel's here. He's got a different code reader. So let's see if he gets any results. All right, so Joel's firing up his code reader. Well, that's pretty slow to come on, isn't it? Yeah, it is a, <laughs> a you know, the, the more expensive Autel units are actually a fair amount faster. The, it does run on... Um, Windows 98? Uh, that would be... Pro well, it's, it's Android. Oh, okay. All right. So let's see if that brings up any codes here. Okay, we're going to go into diagnostics. I'm going to actually just auto-detect the VIN. Establishing Bluetooth communication. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the VIN. Pull up this. Yeah. I don't know... Volkswagen as well. Oh. We'll just. Alright, so we're going to go into diagnostics. We'll do an auto scan. Because it, it can do like all the subsystems. Oh. And yes, you'll see that it's giving driver and passenger door electronics. Um, there are computer modules in each, in each door. door. Okay. Um, they're completely separate modules. All right, so all right, so with your code reader, it showed nothing. So I'm actually seeing multiple codes, um, engine control module, transmission, which these two probably have a relation to each other, and information electronics. Um, everything else, all the rest of the modules look good. So we're gonna go in engine control module um, 
I am not hooked up to your Wi-Fi, so some of these things I won't be able to go in any deeper to pull up what the some of the code meanings are, because um, this is a Volkswagen and I don't really know the stuff as well. We're gonna go into trouble codes. All right, so here's the trouble codes that I'm getting. Um, some of these are going to be very specific to Volkswagen only. Um, invalid data received from vehicle dynamics control module. Uh, that would probably be part of your EPC light. ABS brake control module, readout DTC. That's also probably something to do with your EPC light as well. Um, so it's having trouble communicating. Um, so that could be electrical. Um, we do have a sporadic injector circuit. And I've this is another one that I've never seen before. Internal control unit main processor performance. I don't know really what that means. Um, these Some of these we're going to have to actually dig into further to see what's going on. So as you could see, this is just a super basic scanner. It will give you some codes. However, it will not give you everything to diagnose your car. So let me go ahead and uh, bring Joel in here and he can go through all the functions on his Autel because uh, there's a lot in there. All right, I need to grab the towel and just talk about it. All right, so one of the things with the Autel scanners or any of the actual diagnostic scan tools, there's a difference between a, a scan tool versus uh, a code reader. This will do live functions. Uh, it will give you live data. It will program keys. Um, I do have the battery charge module for this as well, so I can actually check the batteries on, you know, on the battery life. Um, TPMS will do, it will work on it with the TPMS. Um, there's actually a lot, a lot of functions. Um, I can manually, depending on the vehicle, and a lot of this is vehicle dependent, I can manually go in and actually uh, make the transmission shift by just selecting what I need to do. Because I'm not hooked up to a vehicle. Oh. All right. And so there you go, the $10 Timu scan tool versus the $600 Autel. Obviously not a fair comparison at all, but still kind of a fun thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank you for watching The Garage USA. I'm Jonathan Brinke, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.